Most guys' number one goal when they first start working out is they want to build their chest. And I was the exact same way. When I first started working out, I would do bench press, I would do push-ups. But the problem for me was I would never, ever feel it in my chest. Uh, I would feel it in my front shoulders. I would feel it in my triceps, but I never feel it in my chest, which is the muscle group I was really trying to hit. And my chest was a massive lagging body part for me. I hated it. And in this video, I'm going to show you the exact hacks that I use to maximize my chest growth. So since I wasn't feeling it in my chest, the first thing I had to do was figure out, well, what am I doing wrong? So I started focusing on the technique. Since everyone's body mechanics are slightly different, meaning like some people have a little bit more flexibility, more or less than others, uh, you have to kind of figure out what works best for your body. So the first thing I figured out was the mind-muscle connection. I used to hear about this a lot, but I didn't really know what it meant. So what the mind-muscle connection really means is you're focusing on feeling the muscles that are being contracted during the exercise. So when you achieve mind-muscle connection, essentially all that means is you're feeling exactly what muscles are being engaged and the muscle groups that you're trying to hit are what you're feeling at the time of the exercise. That's all it is. So one of the problems that I was having with my technique was since I was feeling it so much in my triceps and so much in my shoulders, I realized, oh, I need to go a little bit wider in the hand position. So whenever you're hitting, whenever you're doing uh, push-ups, you, you need to be very mindful of the placement of your hands. So basically, the closer your hands are, the more tricep and uh, the more tricep engagement you're going to have. The wider your hands are apart, the more chest and pe pectoral muscle engagement you're going to have, and the less tricep engagement you're going to use. You want to poke your chest forward with a wider hand position when you're doing your push-ups. That way, you get maximum chest engagement. <laughs> so these workouts are perfect to do at home. So if you don't have that much time or you don't have a gym membership, you can do them anytime and it helps you to eliminate all excuses. So you can follow along at home all these exercises I'm about to show you. So be sure to share this video with as many people as you can. So it's a five minute chest workout that I would do 30 minutes to 60 minutes before I go to bed. I would do it three times a week. And the reason why I would choose this time is because your muscles only need 36 to 48 hours to recover. So by performing these five minute workouts, I will maximize my growth cycle. I'm putting my body into a state where it can grow every two to three days. And obviously muscle growth is a combination of working out plus nutrition. So to maximize the muscle growth, I would also consume a complex carb protein shake before I go to bed. So the reason why I would do this before bed is I would get a quick stimulus for the muscles and then chase it with a complex carb for nutrition. That way, once I go to bed, my body's recovering and it has nutrients that it needs to repair itself overnight. That way the body has proper nutrients available for muscle growth when I sleep. Oh, and one other thing, let me know in the comments if you want me to make another video showing you exactly how I make my complex carb protein shake that I have before bed. All right, so that about wraps it up. Let's get started. <laughs>
drop a note in the comments and I'll make a video for that. Uh, otherwise, if you guys have any questions, anything that I didn't cover, anything that you want me to show you or maybe do a video on, I'll totally do it. Um, I'll read all the comments. So anyway, like I said, like, share, subscribe, catch you on the next one.